Have you ever pondered the possibility of detecting an organism without ever seeing it? Welcome to the fascinating frontier of environmental DNA or eDNA, a revolutionary field of science that's reshaping our understanding of the world around us, one genetic sequence at a time. Imagine a world where we could identify every creature that passed through a forest, swam in a river, or flew in the sky simply by examining the environment they left behind. This isn't science fiction, it's environmental DNA. It's the genetic material that all living organisms shed into their environment, be it soil, air, or water. Each tiny fragment, each strand of DNA is a clue that tells us who was there, what they were doing, and how they interact with their surroundings. Take a moment to consider the scale of this. Every day, every animal, every plant, every microorganism is constantly shedding DNA. It's in the soil beneath our feet, the air we breathe, the water we drink. It's like a hidden language, a secret code that's been there all along, waiting for us to decipher it. And with the advancements in technology, we're now equipped to read this code and unravel the mysteries it holds. The beauty of eDNA is that it enables us to see without using our eyes. We're not limited by what's visible or accessible. We can reach into the heart of a dense forest, the depths of the ocean, the highest peaks, and the smallest crevices, all without leaving the lab. eDNA is transforming our ability to monitor biodiversity, track invasive species, and even discover new ones. In essence, environmental DNA is a game changer. It's like having a superpower that allows us to see the invisible, to listen to the silent whispers of life that echo in every corner of our planet. With eDNA, we're uncovering a world that's been hidden in plain sight, breaking down barriers and pushing the boundaries of what's possible in scientific discovery. With eDNA, we can essentially see without using our eyes. So, how does this seemingly magical process work, you might wonder? Well, it's not magic, but it sure is fascinating. It's all about the way organisms interact with their environment and leave behind a kind of biological breadcrumb trail. Imagine, if you will, a fish swimming in a river. As it moves, it sheds minute particles of its skin, scales, or waste, each carrying the fish's unique genetic code. This genetic material, which we call environmental DNA or eDNA, gets dispersed in the water. Similarly, a bird flying overhead might shed a few feathers, or a tree might drop leaves, each leaving their own eDNA in the environment. Now how do we actually collect this eDNA? The process is surprisingly simple and can be as easy as collecting water or soil samples from the target environment. In the case of our fishy friend, a sample of river water would likely contain its eDNA. For our bird, we might need to sift through air filters, and for the tree, a simple soil sample might do the trick. Once we have our samples, it's time for the lab work. Here, scientists use a process called DNA sequencing to decode the eDNA. This is a bit like translating a foreign language into something we can understand. The DNA sequence, which is unique to each species, is like a barcode that scientists can match to a database of known sequences. So, if our fish was a salmon, the eDNA in our water sample would match the barcode for salmon in our database. Just like that, we've identified a species without ever having to see it. This process allows us to study biodiversity in a way that's less invasive, more efficient, and often more accurate than traditional methods. It's a breakthrough that's transforming the way we understand and interact with the world around us. So, next time you're out in nature, remember, every organism, from the tiniest microbe to the largest whale, is constantly interacting with its environment and leaving behind traces of its DNA. It's like a biological detective story, using DNA as the ultimate clue. But why should we care about eDNA? What's so special about it? Well, let's dive right into the captivating world of environmental DNA and explore its endless possibilities. One of the most exciting benefits of eDNA is its ability to monitor biodiversity. Imagine this. Without disturbing or even seeing the organisms, scientists can now get a snapshot of who's living in a particular habitat, be it a tropical rainforest or a deep sea trench. All they need is a small sample of water, soil, or even air. This non-invasive method is revolutionizing our understanding of ecosystems and the complex relationships within them, but that's not all. eDNA is also a powerful tool in the fight against invasive species, those non-native organisms that can wreak havoc on ecosystems and economies. Instead of laboriously searching for these unwelcome guests, scientists can now use eDNA to track their presence and movement. This early detection system allows us to respond quickly and efficiently, potentially saving millions of dollars and countless species from extinction. And let's not forget about the potential for discovery. With eDNA, we're not limited to what we can see or capture. 
we're able to identify the invisible, the elusive, the yet to be discovered. Who knows how many new species are waiting to be found in a drop of pond water or a handful of forest soil. As we delve deeper into the world of eDNA we begin to see it as a game changer for conservation and ecological studies. It's like having a superpower that allows us to see the unseen, understand the intricate web of life, and protect our planet's precious biodiversity. So why should we care about eDNA? Because it's not just about DNA, it's about the future of our planet, the survival of countless species, and our understanding of life itself. The potential of eDNA is vast and we're just beginning to tap into it. Like any scientific field, eDNA has its hurdles and uncertainties. This innovative field of environmental DNA is not without its own set of challenges. One of the most significant hurdles is the risk of contamination. As we're dealing with trace amounts of DNA, even the slightest contamination can skew the results, leading to inaccurate conclusions. To counter this, researchers must adhere to strict protocols, ensuring their equipment is meticulously clean, and that samples are handled with utmost care. Despite these precautions, the risk of contamination remains, making it one of the significant challenges in the field of eDNA. Another obstacle lies in the need for comprehensive DNA databases. To identify the species from which the eDNA originates, scientists rely on extensive databases containing known genetic codes. However, these databases aren't exhaustive. Many species, particularly those in remote or understudied areas, are still unaccounted for. This gap in knowledge can lead to incomplete or even incorrect identifications. Also, determining the age and origin of eDNA presents its own set of difficulties. Unlike fossils, eDNA doesn't come with a timestamp. It can be challenging to tell whether the DNA is from a creature that passed by just hours ago, or one that was there days, weeks, or even months earlier. Despite these hurdles, the field of eDNA is not at a standstill. Far from it. Ongoing research and technological advancements are helping scientists overcome these challenges. For instance, new techniques are being developed to better prevent contamination, and efforts are being made to expand DNA databases to include more species. Additionally, methods to approximate the age of eDNA are being explored potentially giving us a better understanding of when a specific creature was in a given environment. The road ahead for eDNA is not without bumps, but it's a road that scientists and researchers are eager to traverse. As technology advances and our understanding deepens, these challenges will become stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. Despite the challenges, the future of eDNA looks promising. As we journey through the invisible world of eDNA, we realize that it's not just about science but about understanding our world. We've delved into the fascinating science behind environmental DNA, or eDNA, which is essentially a snapshot of the past, a fingerprint of life that has left its mark in the environment. This invisible genetic material, shed by organisms, into their surroundings, gives us a powerful tool to detect and monitor biodiversity, from the smallest microorganisms to the largest mammals. We've discussed how the collection and analysis of eDNA is carried out, a process that involves complex extraction, amplification, and sequencing techniques. This process, while intricate, holds the potential to revolutionize our approach to ecological studies, offering a non-invasive means to assess species presence and abundance with unprecedented accuracy and speed. We've also considered the remarkable benefits that eDNA brings to the table. Its capacity to inform conservation efforts, guide policy decisions, and help us understand the effects of climate change is nothing short of transformative. It offers a window into the past, the present, and potentially, the future of our ecosystems. However, we've also acknowledged the challenges that eDNA faces. The need for standardized protocols, the risk of contamination, and the complexities in data interpretation are all hurdles that scientists are striving to overcome. Yet, these challenges also present opportunities for innovation and improvement, pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve with this technology. In our exploration of eDNA, we've also glanced towards the future. As techniques evolve and our understanding deepens, the potential applications of eDNA are vast and exciting. From disease monitoring to invasive species detection, from deep-sea explorations to archaeological studies, the possibilities are as diverse as life itself. As we continue to unlock the secrets of eDNA, who knows what we might discover next? Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning and remember, there's always more to learn. If you enjoyed this video please like, share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.